my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing from Crafties. Crafties is a diamond painting company that offers a really nice variety of legally licensed artwork at some really beginner friendly sizes uh, and some really, really pretty artwork as well. They actually also offer licensed paint by number of many of the same kits. So if paint by number is your jam, Feel free to take a look at what they have to offer. And uh, you guys, just to let you know right up front, I am an affiliate for Crafties. They sent this to me to share with all of you. And of course, you know I wanna be really transparent about anything like that. Uh, but I'm still gonna do my very, very best to give you a um, an honest, a genuine, unbiased opinion. I do have a coupon code that you're welcome to use uh, that I'll pop up here on the screen for you as well as have uh, down in the description box. But let's go ahead and get into this kit because that's what we're all here for today. So um, what I have today is in this unbranded white box. It did ship in a plastic white poly mailer, um, just this outer wrapping on the outside. And it did ship pretty quickly. I believe it ships from overseas, but I had it within a week or two, maybe a couple weeks of the order confirmation going through. So let's take a look. Ooh, okay. So I do think that they may have changed manufacturers for some of their kits uh, because originally they just had kits that came with a variety of special drills like crystals and whatnot. Uh, but I feel like they have these newer lines of kits that you can choose if you want them in round or square drills. And you can also choose um, the size. So that's really fun. But you guys, I love this artwork so much. So when they reached out and asked if they could send me a kit this month to share, I was immediately, immediately drawn to this one. The name of this one is Melancholia. It is by Ellen Lescote. And isn't it so cute? Now, if you're looking at this and seeing, ooh, oh, hey, they included some release paper. I was like, what is that? <laughs> These are sheets of release paper that they've included um, that you can use if you don't like working with the plastic cover, um, you can use release paper. It looks actually kind of like parchment paper. Um, anyway, you may be noticing what looks like, oh no, is this like a bubble or a river? It's not at all. It's just where the plastic cover shifted while it was rolled and in transit. Let me peel back, peel back this plastic cover and I'll show you. So uh, the canvas does have a little, just a little bit of a wrinkle to it, but absolutely no harm done. There's no rivers or actual bubbles in here. Sorry for the brief hiccup there. I have a kitten and there are shenanigans. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, you can see, honestly, there is absolutely no harm done to the glue. Look at that really nice poured glue quality, actually. So if you're having trouble getting your canvas to flatten out, though, after it's been rolled in transit like that, you can put it under something heavy. You can put it, um, I like to put it like in between my, my mattresses, though that is probably a bit more extreme than this canvas is calling for. This is just a little shift and I'm sure it's gonna self-correct once I start putting diamonds down. Let's peel it back the other direction as well. Um, like I said, the name of this piece, I believe it's Melancholia. I just love the colors in it. I love the little fox. I love the pretty just purples and blues in the background. I think it's gonna be so cute. Let me show you what was included. So um, we did get a basic toolkit that is gonna have everything we need to do our diamond painting. So we've got, it looks like they doubled up. We have a couple of pens. There's a multi-placer, a couple, actually a few different multi-placer options. They are the, the wider ones, as I'm just dropping them all over the place. They are the wider multi-placers, just so you know, but if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at a time, you can do so. We have a pair of these metal tweezers with the angled tip. We have a few different plates of this pink wax, and we have some squishies for the pens, and then we also have a basic white tray. So, um, like I said, everything you're gonna need to do your diamond painting, but of course, if you wanna make some upgrades, if you diamond paint a lot, you may find that you actually wanna update what you have to work with a little bit. Now, let me show you this original artwork a little more closely. There goes the cat again. So, I had, did I request a particular size in this one? I'm not totally sure that I did. Let me see what it says on here. 
so, okay, so Melancholia Ellen Lescoach, 60 by 50 square. Now, I'm gonna have to reach out to them, you guys, <laughs> because these are round, they sent me round drills. So I'm gonna contact them and let them know. I wonder if this is a round drill field or a square drill field. It has the grids. I think that they just sent me the wrong drills. I'm gonna leave this in because this is just part of you guys getting a really honest unboxing from me. Um, I actually, I do remember now that I requested, I was like, can I try out your squares? I'd be really interested to give them a try. They said, of course, no problem at all. So um, I am sure that they are gonna get, get this taken care of and send me the correct ones. I'll leave a note in the description box about what I find out once I reach out to them. Uh, but yes, yeah, so 60 by 50 centimeters and they did include some instructions here. Here is that beautiful original artwork and some, again, written out instructions. I have a, a video where I actually demo everything and, and take you step by step through the process of diamond painting. It's a diamond painting for beginners video tutorial. I'll link to that in case you are new and wanna have uh, someone kind of demo it all for you. But then we have uh, the inventory sheet over here. It looks like we're gonna have a total of 37 colors. And I'm wondering if this one came with ABs. We will take a look, because I think that that was maybe an option that some of their kits could come with ABs. We will look at the diamonds together and see, but let's do a quick measurement on this. See if we're at 50 by 60 centimeters. So let's see. All right, we're at 60 about on the nose, top to bottom. And then width wise, we are at, just measuring the drill field, 50 exactly. So it is true to size. Now let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. So we have crafties, they're branding up here at the top. It looks like the edges have kind of a rough cut. Um, there's a little bit of fuzzies coming off the edge, but I honestly, I've completed a few different canvases from crafties that have a very similar kind of cut, a very similar canvas that's just, it's stiff, but honestly, it, it lays flat well. I haven't been dealing with major fraying issues. Um, this is part of what you get when you're looking at like a more budget-friendly, beginner-friendly company sometimes. There's the original artwork and we have the legend up here at the top right. Again, 37 colors. And over here, 37 colors, same legend and thumbnail. And at the bottom, here's their website, Crafties. They do have socials, so be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And here's a look at their drill field, which yes, this looks like a square drill field to me. So um, I'm just gonna request those replacement drills. Look at this cute fox. <laughs> I have to say that taking a look at this, my initial impressions are it looks like this has maybe had some hand charting done to it, which I'm all about. I think that that is a wonderful thing to see, especially in a beginner budget friendly company is sometimes that will mean that there's like computer rendering and so sometimes there's a lot of unnecessary confetti but I feel like when we see like a big section of color blocking in here color blocking is where we have um, a lot of the same color in a small area and there's not like random confetti sprinkled throughout that make that gives me some hope just at first glance that like the the render is going to be nice and it isn't going to look real sprinkly I guess even in the fox we have that as well there's some blending outward so we'll see how that looks but like just the middle of the fox's face is you know sets of individual colors so we'll cross our fingers even her dress as well the print the printing is really clear I'm noticing as we're looking at it we've got a mix of alphanumeric and non alphanumeric symbols which honestly that's my preference because if it's all letters and numbers sometimes I have a hard time like picking out the symbols quickly when there are other kinds of symbols mixed in, like these slashes or parentheses or something, that just makes it easier on my eyes to, to move through it a little more quickly. Uh, so yeah, the printing is really clear. We do have some more confetti up here towards the top. Um, but this overall, this does look really cute. This looks really, really cute. Now I am gonna show you the drills just to show you what the colors are, but you gotta take this one with a grain of salt, you guys, because there was obviously a mix up and the factory sent me round drills instead of square. So I'm gonna contact them and let them know. So uh, I'm curious if the squares will also ship in these tiny baggies. I have to say that these are not my favorite. I think it creates 
a lot of plastic waste and it takes a bit longer to kit these up because you have to cut open so many of them. A trick for you though is, uh, and this was something that a viewer had recommended to me back when I had worked on a different kit that had these kinds of, of tiny baggies, is I like will double or triple them up and do a cut across the top. So I'm cutting three or four bags at once and then dump those into the container. So that's one way you can save time with these. The DMC code is on there. It's hard to see on <laughs> against a dark drill. Let me grab a lighter one to show you. Uh, here you can see it a little more easily. That that's the DMC code. So I'm not sure whether these are resin or acrylic. I Looking at them in the package, I think acrylic. So I, I'm very, very curious to see what the squares are going to be like. Because acrylic squares can be a little bit dicey, uh, but maybe they'll be resin. Maybe they'll be high quality acrylic squares. Look, we have just a couple of this pretty pink color. Um, like I said, I, even though these are the wrong drill shape, I did want to show you the colors. Lots of shades of blue and purple. And we have a couple of these like tiny bits. These will just be like accent colors of like the grayes, beiges, yellows. And I'm guessing that this is the skin tone maybe. Is that 3856? Yep. Like this is going to be the color that's in the middle of her face and like the sides of the fox, the fox's face, like that lighter color around its eyes. I'll have to double check. I, I'll check the listing and see if it had listed it as having ABs. I don't see any ABs in here. But I, I, like I said, I have to double check. I'm not sure. Ooh, this brown. I bet this rich brown is in her hair. That's a really, really pretty brown color, actually. 300, number four. Yep. I see some of it in her hair. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty. And like so many shades of blue. So many shades of blue. And ooh, this really pretty, like russet, red. There goes the cat again. Yeah, tons of blues, tons of blues. 37 colors total in this kit, which honestly in a kit this size, I feel like that number of colors is about right. I think we're gonna be working with a good number of colors here. And then we have kind of these little, these packs that we'll just have a little bit of in the kit. Oranges, burgundy, pink, like off-white, gray rather, and a really pale mint. So colors wise, shape of the drill aside, just purely looking at the colors, I like what I'm seeing colors wise, but these drills, I, you cannot place round drills on a square drill canvas. If you didn't know, <laughs> round drills are usually around two, between 2.7 and 2.8 millimeters in diameter, I believe, whereas square drills are 2.5 ish those are ish uh square drills are smaller than round drills are and so if i attempted to place those round drills on this square drill canvas um which i believe is square drills because it has these grid lines like that not always the case depends on the company not always the case that's just what i'm guessing and just what i'm looking at and seeing these round drills and going no those aren't going to fit there um they're going to be too big they're just going to press up against each other and they're going to pop so uh, i'm going to contact crafties now and <laughs> let them know and get those replacements in and you know honestly you guys i would like to work on this kit sooner rather than later uh because i haven't worked on a crafties kit in a while i haven't tried one of these uh newer kits that they have where you get to pick like the size and the drill shape and stuff like that so i'd really like to do that i am looking at this and going okay if it didn't come with any enhancement drills like ab's there are a couple of spots that i feel like would be very very easy for me to add them in if you look at the original artwork there's this really pretty like sparkle in her hair it would be super easy to get like some square gold ab's or something like that or crystals and i think that even just that would be a very easy and really nice cute spot to add those i'm curious how this is going to work up with the really soft focus here like around her i think i i'm so curious <laughs> so i will keep you guys posted i will also let you know that i did chat with crafties briefly and i did ask um i had told them that i i was curious if they were going to be bringing back or releasing any new kits that were in the style of like the original way that they did diamond paintings which like i said was uh it was very similar like in quality and presentation and everything it was just that they had pre-charted like crystals and or metallics for you 
drills, which are other kinds of special drills besides just ABs. And I thought that they that made them really unique and they turned out so beautifully. They still have a lot of them available on the website, uh, actually. And I'll link to the post reviews I've done of some of those below. But I asked if they were planning to continue to release kits in that style. Um, and they said that they are. They said that they're working on some more kits with special drills. So my understanding is that means those kinds of kits and not necessarily just more of these that have like the ABs and stuff. So uh, we'll see, stay tuned. I'm curious to see what Crafties has coming down the pipe. But this, you guys, this is Melancholia by Ellen Lescote. It is legally licensed. And yes, in case you were curious um, or had noticed, it is definitely possible for a single artist to have their work licensed with multiple different companies. It just completely depends on the contracts that they have. I don't know the details of Ellen Lescote's contracts. I just know that, yes, I have seen her work at more than one company and that is still above board. Like it's still legit. So you don't have to worry about, oh no, is this is this company stealing from the artist? They are not. This is legally licensed and everything. So it's above board. Um, Crafties, like I said, I feel like is a good option for uh, beginners because of the size, the number of colors. A lot of the artwork is really, I feel like beginner friendly in general. Um, and I have had good experiences with a number of kits that I've completed from them. Like I said, if you want to see some of those kits completed and hear me go into a lot more detail about the specifics of those specific kits, I will link to them in the description box below. I'm also going to add a note down there about how Crafties um, is handling sending me the, the replacement drills and stuff like that. So check there. Like I said, my goal is to be totally transparent and authentic with you guys. So I'm letting you guys know that, hey, they made this mistake and I'm sure that they're going to make it right. But um, yeah, this is just what happened. So I it's not turning me off to crafties at all. Um, I have purchased from them before in the past and still am planning to do so. And I still think that they have a really nice quality product that uh, matches like the value for the price and everything like that. So feel free to go and take a look at what their shop has to offer. I'll link to this kit directly and hopefully you'll see me work on it soon as well. Because like I said, it's cute. I want to see how it works up. I want to test out one of these newer kits of theirs so that I can give you guys a uh, a more thorough review on my thoughts on on their their products so anyway thank you so much for watching you guys please feel free to hit the subscribe button below if you would like to stay up to date with all of my diamond painting content you'll see lots of unboxings and reviews of kits i've completed and tutorials all sorts of stuff so i would love to have you if you'd like to join my community here and uh leave a thumbs up on the way out if you don't mind if you did enjoy this video. All right, my friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.